Here at the Smithsonian's Freer Sackler Gallery in Washington, it's all about the ancient art of yoga. The tradition has become a modern way to keep fit and unwind, but its roots stretch back thousands of years. For a bit more than 2,000 years, professional artists have been representing great yoga teachers and practitioners, um, as well as philosophical concepts and constructs of yoga traditions, often for devotees or followers of a yogic path, but often for popular audiences or kings and courts. The artworks here depict core traditions, popular storytelling, and yogic religious beliefs born in India. One of the biggest traditions was the passing down of yogi precepts and lessons taught to small groups of students. Paintings on display at the exhibition illustrate this tradition, always illuminating one specific teacher. The exhibition also examines how the art moved into other cultures, becoming a physical and mental path to enlightenment open to people of all faiths, or none. We have a section that looks at how images brought the notion of the yogi to the West. And in the 18th and 19th century, probably the most important stereotype or trope of the posture practicing yogi was negative. They were considered sinister exotic, evil, and dubious. The section also shows how postures and physical exercises became dominant in yoga. So they have a very long history, but their emphasis shifts in the modern era, um, and also you know, the entire way that we understand sort of health and the body has shifted in the modern age, and yoga has been very malleable. Today, after a long journey, we know yoga as a popular exercise that unites mind and body for good health. Yoga, the art of transformation, runs until January 26, 2014. Stephen Roach, CCTV.